Alhamdulillahirrabbilalamin Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam ama ba' Dhikr Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Is one of the greatest things And greatest weapons that a believer can have And by dhikr we mean remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala And mentioning his names, his divine names and attributes And saying those legislated or approved adhkar that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to say and that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to uh, encourage his companions Radiallahu Ta'ala Anhum Majma'een to, to say and in a beautiful hadith that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam which showed us and, and illustrated for us the fadl of adhkar or dhikr of remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is a hadith that was collected in Sahih Muslim the hadith of Samra of Samra bin Jundub radiallahu ta'ala anhu and the Nabiya sallallahu alayhi wa sallam aqal ahabbu kalami ilallahi arba subhanallahi walhamdulillahi wa la ilaha illallah wallahu akbar la yudurraka bi ayyihinna badatta ruahu muslim in this hadith of the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that was related or narrated by Samura, Samurata bin Jundab radiallahu ta'ala anhu who said that the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallama said the most beloved speech to Allah is for Subhanallah, glorified be Allah or all glorify uh, Allah all glory be to Allah Walhamdulillah, all praises belongs to Allah. Walla ilaha illallah, and there is no God worthy of worship except Allah. Wallahu akbar, and Allah is the greatest. And the one who says this, or if you say this, there is nothing, it will not harm you any which one of those beautiful beloved statements that you recite first and this was narrated in Muslim in this hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam it shows us the importance of making dhikr to Allah and that Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Ta'ala loves dhikr there are so many ahadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and so many verses in the Quran that show us and our evidence for Remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala And remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala In a manner that's mashru' And Although the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said That it Will not harm you Whichever one that you Of those statements that you say first There's something very important that we have to speak about and that is the fadl of dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by those things which are mishroor for example some of our brothers and sisters in Islam they go beyond the bounds and you might ask how can someone go beyond the bounds when remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala isn't it all beautiful that however you remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala well Islam as we mention on many occasions and in order to have our deeds accepted by Allah the Almighty we have to have sincerity to Allah and we have to have do it in accordance with the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam so for example when I first came to Islam a particular individual invited me to his home the first night and he said, come to my home. So I went to his home as a new Muslim the first day. And he, when I came, when I arrived at his home, he took me to the room and he turned the lights off. And he said, say Allahu 100 times. 
and la ilaha illallah he gave me some other specific amount of times to relate these kinds of dhikr these various kinds of dhikr now when we say Allahu Akbar or we say La ilaha illallah these are mentioned in the sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam they're mentioned all throughout the Quran and we know the fadl of this but when we add things to it by adding by turning off the lights by mentioning a specific amount of times to recite those dhikr that were not mentioned by the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam this is where we begin to traverse dangerous grounds and where we begin to deviate from the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam who said Alaykum bi sunnati wa sunnata khulafa rashideen al mahdeen he said upon you is my sunnah and the sunnah of the rightly guided Predis uh, uh, Khalifat Abu Bakr Umar wa Uthman wa Ali radiyallahu ta'ala wa jma'in and the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said man ahtada fi amrina hadha ma laysa minhu fu wa rad whoever innovent, innovates in this affair of ours will have it rejected so that lets us know that it's very important that we strive to be in accordance with the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam when we make dhikr. When we remember Allah, we should make sure it is a, in a manner that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam made his dhikr. And we ask that Allah the Almighty blesses us to be of those who remember him much and those who are beloved to him subhanahu wa ta'ala as it's not sufficient just to love Allah but you want to be loved by Allah and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us through those deeds which cause him to love us wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam